Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Okay, so as promised, this is the second Darkest Dungeon video today, and we're going to continue our focus on the Arbalist and Man-at-Arms adventures. Now, um, I don't have, I still don't have an ideal group, so let's take a look at the stagecoach and see if I can find another lower level character that could supplement our adventures here. Okay, let's see. Not interested, not interested. What I really want is an occultist. Yeah. Well, not available, but we could pick up another Arbalist, it looks like. Okay. Night Owl, Last Gasp, Tippler, Slow Draw. Okay, probably not you. Hylomania, Deadly, and Hard Skin. Okay, we have a winner. <laughs> so let's see. We're going to get rid of this guy. Bye, to make some space. My roster is only, um, well, only. I have my roster modified to 30, for those of you not familiar with my campaign. Um... My suggestion is don't go past that. Uh, you will start having uh, problems uh, in the most recent build of the game. So 30 and below seems to be stable. Unmodified, the max stagecoach is 22. I maintain a higher roster, not because it makes it easier, because quite frankly, it doesn't, leveling up all these people. But it was principally so that I could do things like have, you know, whatever, three uh, grave robbers and, you know, do tests and things like that. That's why I have it. Okay, so let's see. Back to... What we have at hand here, let's grab this other Arbalist. Is that the correct one? Yes. Okay, welcome aboard. Shoot, bandage, and pillage. And... The dancing steps of war. One of my subscribers suggested Van Helsing as a name for one of these, so we're going to change it. And I also have a newer subscriber that wanted to be one of... The Man at Arms, so we'll change Montgomery here. And I think I'm spelling this correctly. Copardiscus? You're gonna be Cope. <laughs> That's what I will be calling you. Alright. There you go, welcome aboard. Now that means I still have a Man at Arms uh, and another Arbalist on the roster. If someone's interested in being named for one of these characters, please let me know in the comments below this video. All right, now, what do we have to do? Well, we need to train these people up. Yep, so let's go to the guild. And we're just going to buy everything, because we have the money. Yep, and grab you. Oh, right, you're not level one. Okay. Um, yep, upgrade everything. All the things. go. I already did you, right? Yep, and we can't do anything else for you. Okay. Rinse repeat with the armor. And weapons. It's kind of cool, you know? I like the, the, the fact that the colors and change. I'll be... Um, oops, hold on. Oh, yeah, we can't do yours. Okay. It'll be nice when the... And I, maybe it does. I'll have to double check, but... Does it change? Nah, I mean, it makes them a little fancier with blue highlight or whatever, but yeah. Like, I want, like, even fancier looking stuff. Uh, okay, so that's skill upgrade, that's weapon upgrades. Alright, let's take a look at what we've got for missions. Or quests, excuse me. Um, we're not going to try to kill a new boss with these characters, because that would be kind of dumb. They're not leveled up enough. We'll probably try that at, like, level two. Okay, so we could do Medium Apprentice. Complete 100% of room battles. Okay. Or we could go to the Warrens. Or the Wield. I don't like to gather the medicines one. It takes up space in your inventory. Okay, it looks like 100% room battles is the winner. Yep, so... We're gonna set up like this. Now, this isn't an ideal group, but because I want to play around with the new characters as much as possible, I'm doing this, but... I, real, I really still think that in rank 3, an, an occultist makes the most sense partnered with an arbalist, man-at-arms in the first rank, and then the second rank, maybe an AoE damage dealer Highwayman comes to mind as a good option. 
Um, Hellion would also be good in the second rank, because they've got flexible attacks into the first three ranks. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's change your color. That looks cool. And let's change your color. Oh, I like that. Okay. And you guys look cool. Well, hold on. Let's change yours, too. Yep. And then let's make you different. Because reasons. <laughs> okay, do you have the right skills up? Yep, those four. Those four. Right. Oh, you know what? Camping skills. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, you're good. Okay, all set. Back in. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to provision up. And then we'll all meet you back on the flip side once we're in the dungeon. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, now, the first thing you're going to notice is that I don't have any trinkets on any characters. And again, I, now, I, I won't be doing this in every episode because obviously I have a lot of high-end trinkets, but I want to do a little bit more experimentation and really see these classes for what they are without... I mean, let's face it, at, at level 1 or level 0, you, you, you stack on some really high-end trinkets. What, what, are you going to lose the dungeon? Probably not, right? Um, so, again, I want to kind of I kind of want to check these out on, on their own merits. So, camping skills I will use. Uh, obviously, any of their abilities that are advantageous I will use, but no trinkets. Okay, so hopefully you understand my, my rationale. And again, in future episodes, I may or may not do that based on feedback. Let me know what you think. Okay, so, let's see. Uh, Bolo's good. Yep, Field Bandage is good. You don't need Rallying Flare. Uh, you need Suppressing Fire. And then the other one will be responsible for Marking, so you don't need Suppressing Fire. You need Mark. And you don't need Battlefield Heal, actually. Actually, you know what? Why don't you take Blind Fire? That's a good... Yeah, that's a good boost. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually, you know what? I'm not going to camp right now. I'm going to explore the dungeon a little bit, get into some fights. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Picked up 19 stress from a trap. Stress is a much bigger deal now. Now, of course, the stress pool does go up higher than it did before. But still, two crit on that, good. And you're full, okay. Nope, no fight, all right. I am doing this as a light run, as you can see. Interesting that you can actually just snuff out your torch. <laughs> I mean, unless this happened I, I mean, I don't remember that being an option. I, I think this was part of, of Fiends and Frenzy. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it was. Because I don't remember having the ability to just snuff out my torch. Which is kind of cool. Did I bring any medicinal herbs? I did not. Of course not. Okay, another trap, but I dodged it. Good. Grab some light before going into the room, just in case. No fight. Alright. Womp womp. Which means we're going to end up with a bunch of fights like right in a row, back to back. And another medicinal herb. <laughs> Don't tell me that the game doesn't look at what you have and then purposely put those kinds of curios in there. Is the trap maker's Because it does. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Here we go. Hello. All right, they're surprised. Good. All right, so let's see. Suppressing fire is pretty awesome at hitting multiple ranks, so... I think we'll go ahead and use that. And we're going to set Retribution on you. And I'm going to set Retribution again. Put some damage in. Well, nope, missed. Yeah, things are not going to be as reliable now. Nope. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty good. 
smack you back. Dead guy. Give them no quarter. Oh, she dodged it. Smacky smacky. Destroyed. And there we go. Close. Okay, let's keep going. No, oh, I. Uh, what does he have? Oh, Hylomania. All right, that's unfortunate. I'll have to get. I'll have to remove that. But obviously, I didn't want to spend time in a sanitarium, right? I wanted to use these guys. It's all about the new sauce, right? Everybody wants to see the new sauce. Hello, spiders. Oh, debuff them all. Nice. So now they have minus 12 accuracy and minus 6 crit. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Retribution. On you. Goodbye. Be gone, fiend. Yeah, debuff them so that they don't hit. They miss, and then you do retribution with your man at arms. Yeah, that, that works pretty darn well. Quickly the tide turns. I picked up stress because I got marked. Yeah, they, they definitely need to do some adjustments there. It, it's that's kinda dumb. Confidence surges I, as the enemy crumbles. I kicked I kicked those spiders right in the face. I mean that's that's silly that we picked up any stress at all on that. Yeah. More adjustments inbound, I think. Of course the men at arms themselves are crazy powerful, so I can't complain too much. Uh, well, these guys in the back can't do anything, so, yeah, just shoot. Death waits. Well, I didn't like, I didn't like that. Oh, hey now. Okay, back up. They can't hit anyone. Yeah, that's right. They can't hit the back rank, so I just need to get them back in position. All right. Get rid of you. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Yep. Slide forward to. There we go. Clarified in a single strike. There we go. And let's get some heals here. You full? Yeah, okay. No, no, no. Go back in the back. I don't need you up there. <laughs> another another use of medicinal herbs. I would have had to have three on me. Just kind of unheard of in the ruins, quite frankly. Hello! Okay, let's grab some more torchlight. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Suppressing fire. Yeah, I like that ability quite a bit. Retribution. Sniper shot. There. Guard here. Now, if anything goes to attack her, he'll take it for her. Oh, 31 crit. Nice. But nothing did, so that's nice. There we go. Bolo. Smacky smacky? Yeah. Oh, 
blind fire, which means I'm shooting the guy that's left and getting a buff. And dead guy. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Trapped, huh? All right. Let's take a look at the map. Room battle here. These are clear, maybe here or here. So potentially up to three more fights. Mm, let's go ahead and camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. There we go. Wrapped nice. In a maze. Okay, now what do we want to use? That's a good question. Um, well, for the man at arms, obviously we have weapons practice, instruction, tactics, or maintain equipment. So you've got a dodge bonus to the group. You've got a self dodge. You've got a companion increased accuracy damage and crit. And then we also have a self damage crit bonus deal here as well. And then on the arbalist, we have triage, heal 15%, all companions. We've got restring crossbow, which is just like the highwayman's uh, clean guns ability, or very similar. Marching plan, plus two speed. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for some global bonuses. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's grab the plus 10 dodge from tactics. Yep. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to do one companion heal 35, huh? Okay, let's do field dressing here. And how many points we got left? Six, huh? Okay, so then let's restring crossbow and come on. Restring crossbow again. And rest. So we used up all our points. Pretty much full health. And we got some nice buffs. This should carry us through the rest. Now, again, we don't really have... A blazing star is born. Especially without trinkets and being able to get more crits. I mean, it, there's really no way for us to mitigate any more stress. Um, and we probably will leave with a fair amount of stress. That's just the way it is now. Which is actually kind of cool, because I spent, you know, months building up my roster. Uh, so now I have a, a decent roster of highly trained people. And instead of, you know, taking out the same group every week, I there'll be a compelling reason to, other than just changing it up, to, you know, rotate out different heroes, which I think was always the intent, right? What's up, dude with the cute hat? Yeah, he thinks he's cool. He's not. Let's see. Goodbye. Now, it just occurred to me, do I have sniper? Sh do I have Mark? I do have Mark, right? On the second Arbalist? Yeah, okay. Just double checking. Let's see. Okay, Retribution here. He's already acted. You know what? Mark. Defend. Goodbye. Oh, nice. 25 crit. That was sweet. Uh, sniper shot here. Goodbye. Devastating blow. Sweet. Very nice. All right, let's keep moving. Trap. Ambushed by foul invention. Yeah, are you full? Yep, yeah, okay. We'll step out here, grab that. Thanks. And go back.
Nothing new. Oh, okay, no. There is new information. Good. So, okay, so one, two, three more fights. Okay. And it's three fights no matter which direction I go. So if I go down here, fight, and then I go back up, fight, fight. So, so I have to complete all the room battles. Uh, let's see. More light then. Hey, fellas. Goodbye. Nice. Strike. Okay, that was good. This expedition at least promises success. The light. The promise of safety. Okay, now this is the group that tore me up last time, so let's be a little careful here. Uh, retribution. Let's go. Let's go and kill. It makes the most sense, I think, to kill this guy in the third rank. Yeah. Then this guy slides up. Now we have repost set, so this guy will attack and get hit back. There we go. Okay, and then Retribution here. Guy was knocked back. Okay. And now he has to attack one of the... If he lives, he'll have to attack one of the two man-at-arms and then die. Blind fire, or just get killed by blind fire. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. So they you guys, can be beaten. Did you guys and gals get what I'm talking about? So in a situation like that, where you had a bunch of melee people attack into the third rank with retribution, right? To get your initial strike. So between the two of them, if you can kill the one in the third rank, great. And then they're both set up with repost. So then if you get attacked, um, then they're going to get a counter automatically. Pretty cool. I think, uh, you know, in terms of efficiency, that's the way to go. Okay, let's see. Unlock. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. It's like it's uh, this guy's a member of the uh, I think I've got a cool hat brigade. OK, so see, here we go. Retribution. Thank you. That's Goodbye. Amazing. Other one slides up. Now he's going to attack and we'll counter. That's awesome. Let's see. Sniper shot. He'll get an action, I think. Yep. But at least he's doing the stress thing on somebody that's got low stress. So that works. Uh, sniper shot. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. And then we're going to set retribution. Well, you know what? Here's fine. We'll kill him. Be and he's stunned. Answered. That ability's crazy. Something tells me that these guys are gonna get changed. Because <laughs> they're just so good. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Sarcophagus is empty. So I could backtrack for a little bit of loot, but I see no point to that. More bones return to rest. Devils remanded to their abyss. There we go. So something else I was thinking about is maybe just keeping a list of trinkets and stuff that I recover only with the man at arms and arbalists in the group, you know, kind of like new discovery um, and maybe only using those trinkets. Or again, I could use my existing stockpile of trinkets, but let me know what you think about that. Hatred of the beast. OK. Slayer of mankind. Nice. Really nice. Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Well, that wasn't bad on the stress at all, actually. Much better than I thought it was going to go. Huh. 
Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I will see you later.